So I got a new thing here. I got a new machine. <coughs> Introduction. Okay, yeah. <coughs> so I have, I'm not turning the light on right now, I'm too tired. I have a uh, thing here. On call blood glucose monitoring system. <laughs> and it comes with the ma machine. And Whoa, cool. I wish I didn't have to have this, but. Welcome, and thank you for choosing OnCall Advanced Blood Glucose Monitoring System. For your reference, the video will make you more familiar with the system. Okay, so it comes with this couch, this little thing. I don't know what that is for. All of these are lancets, and all of these are strips, so 100 each. And the Lancer and the machine. Diabetes Debbie. <laughs> My other me meter's okay. It's like in the drawer here, but it's just cracked and I ran out of lancets in that, so I figure I may as well just get a whole new machine, you know? <coughs> no roach, it's called being fat. That's what causes the face swelling. Okay, who wants to test my blood sugar? <coughs> Before I eat a plum. <laughs> what is this for? Oh, they give you alcohol. I don't have to wash my hands. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> they give you alcohol swabs. Nice. What is this for? Glucose control solution. What in the heck? I don't know what that means. All right, let's do this. Let's curse in this. <clears throat> How do I use this thing? What do you guys put yours on? One or two? I don't know how to do this. How do I use- I hate learning how to use a new monitor. I don't want to break it. Whoa. Whoa, Bessie. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay. You put mine on- you put yours on three? Is that high? I don't want to hurt myself. I hate picking my finger. It's like a jump scare. I'm down 15 kgs, you know, <clears throat> which is pretty good. All right, so I should put it on three or what? How do I do it? Okay, I'll put it on two. I don't get this. See, I know how to take my blood aluminum. I just, every machine is like weird, you know, different. They're, they're the same, but they're different. Okay, let me turn this on. What's this for? Hmm. How do I turn it on? <laughs> Please charge. What? Is a charger? Where? It said PC. I'm assuming that's please charge. Yeah, where do I charge this thing? Do you have to buy a separate charger? Let me try. I'll be right back. Installing the battery. Turn over the meter and press the battery cover tab to open it. Insert two new coin cell batteries into the battery carrier. Make sure they are positioned with the plus side facing up. Close the battery cover and make sure it snaps shut. It's um, battery operated, so I'm stupid. All right, on. Is this a bread? What? Meter setup before testing. Press and hold the S button for two seconds to enter the meter setup mode. The meter will automatically enter the setup mode when turned on for the first time. Press the M button to switch between 12 and 24 hour mode and then press the S button to save your choice. Ketone, what? MMOL, okay. I mean, this is like a machine that, you know, I'm just uh, trying, like, you know when you get a new machine or something? I know how to do it, it's just this machine is a bit different. Okay, let's try this. Bismillah. Performing a quality control test. With the meter off, insert the code chip into the code chip slot Insert a test strip into the strip port to turn the meter on and check the display. Make sure the code number that appears on the display matches the code number on the test strip vial or on the foil pouch. Compare the result to the control range printed on the test strip vial or on the foil pouch. Make sure it falls within the range. This means the blood glucose monitoring system is working properly and that you are performing the test correctly. Oh, I forgot to put the strip. Shit. 
freaking machine. It says E4. What does that mean? Let me just figure this out, guys. I hate this crap. Putting a new thing. I'm so dumb. Obviously, I have to put the strip in before I just pick my finger. Why am I like this? Where's my swab? Okay. If you don't work, I'm not doing it. What do I do? Do I put blood inside? Testing the blood. Unscrew the lancing device cover. Insert a new lancet firmly into the lancet holder. Twist the safety tab off. Carefully screw the lancet cover back on. Adjust the puncture depth by rotating the lancing device cover. Pull the caulking barrel back until it clicks. The device is now loaded and ready for obtaining a drop of blood. What the hell? What the hell? It can't be that high. <laughs> How can it be that high? What the heck? I didn't even eat anything. It says 21. <laughs> <laughs> That's high. That's really high. I'm just not gonna eat anything. Maybe I have to go on insulin. I don't know. Take it again in a few hours. Yeah, I am. Anyways, yeah. That's really high. I don't know. Well, I washed my hands, but then I had like a... There's like fruit. There's like watermelon residue on the table. <laughs> but I used this thing. Prior to testing, wipe your hand with an alcohol swab or wash your hands with soap. Then dry your hands thoroughly. Massage the hand from the wrist up to the fingertip a few times to encourage blood flow. Insert a test strip into the strip port to turn on the meter and check the display. I don't know, I'm confused. Because I lost weight, I guess that doesn't have anything to do with diabetes in a way, does it? I don't know, should I try it again? I don't know if like I I use the this alcohol swabs that would take anything away if there was like any resi residual sugar or anything and when I woke up I washed my face and my hands and I did voodoo and everything so I read the alcohol alcohol can affect it and to use second drop then or wash with soap yeah really is that really peach someone check because I'm not saying hi to a fake peach I don't know Kimmy what do you mean code my str I, you know what guys. Let's just, I'm gonna read the manual and uh, just see what happens there. Okay, I should, what, go wash my hands and do another test? I don't get it. I don't wanna do another test. <laughs> it's probably accurate, I don't know. I hate diabetes. You should definitely read test. Hello, Pete's chat. That is really high. No, I'm not gonna eat something in test. You have to wait two hours. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. You know what, this is my karma. Do you remember I made fun of those those women at my work for mixed talking about their diabetes all day? I'm sick of this. Shit. I'm sick of it. I'm seriously sick of it. This is concerning. Hold the lancing device against the side of the fingertip to be lanced. Push the release button to prick your fingertip. Gently massage from the base to the tip of the finger to obtain a drop of blood. Then wipe away the first drop and obtain a second drop. <laughs> Touch the blood sample to the sample tip at the end of the test strip. Once a sufficient sample has been applied, the meter will count down from 5 to 1 and then display the measurement result. Twenty-two? No, that can't be right. What the hell? Twenty-two point six? That's insane. I don't know. But it's been high like that before. After testing, record valid results in your logbook with the date and time. And compare them to the target goals set by your diabetes healthcare provider. Blood sugars go high when ill. That is why DKA usually happens when sick. But I'm, I'm going to see a doctor. <laughs> Please follow proper precautions and obey all local rules when disposing of blood samples and materials. Maybe the device is wrong. I did. I just just washed my hands with soap. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know why I do this live. <laughs> I get everyone all upset. Extreme caution should be used when clearing the memory. This is not a reversible operation. <laughs> Let's just, I don't know if it's accurate, honestly. With the meter off, Press and hold the M button for two seconds to enter the delete mode. Press and hold both the M and S buttons for two seconds to clear the memory. I'm not calling an ambulance, I'm okay. It's not, it's a battery operated one. Yeah, MMOL. The display will show MEM -E and three dashes. The meter will clear its memory and turn itself off after a moment. 
I don't feel any different. I feel fine. Yeah, that's fasting, but I, I'm going to see a doctor anyways. If you enter the delete mode, but want to exit without deleting the recorded data, press the S button to turn the meter off. Test the law. <laughs> Babe, do you want me to test you to see if it works? Thanks for watching and choosing On Call Advanced Blood Glucose Monitoring System.